That is a dummy 12 gauge shotgun cartridge. Same weight and feel as a live cartridge. Why am I showing you that? Well, it says dummy on it and that exactly is the name that I'd give myself for what I did when I was testing the Mossberg 940 JM Pro. I'll roll in the footage. It's a selection Make your own comments, but I'd say dummy. Clearing the jam and I get my finger in there to try and help the jam or relieve the JM Pro from its jam or its feed issue that I was having. I'll explain that in a minute without holding the bolt handle and it dropped forward and caught the end of my finger and it's still a little sore. Ouch. So yeah, I was a dummy, hence the dummy round. Yeah, certainly was. Hi guys, this is Rack and Load and this is the Mossberg 940 JM Pro. JM st standing for Jerry, I can never say his second name, Mikulik, Michulik, whatever. That dude who can shoot really fast anyway. I'm not going to go into all that anyway. Just because someone's got the name on it. Go on, I'm not, not going to dive into it. It is what it is. Let's throw out some specs and we'll talk uh, talk about this basically in a full rack and load review. So, referring to my tablet and Mossberg's website. Um, so basically, this is a gas operated shotgun. It's not inertia, it's gas operated. And apparently this one can take, well, they reckon up to 1500 rounds before it needs a clean. Now I know the old ones, they were prone to getting really, really mucky. And that was what used to cause the feed issues amongst other things. Uh, but this apparently you can run 1500 shots through it and then it's due a clean. So that's pretty good going. How they prove that, I don't know. I guess they just have to compare it. I'm not going to compare it and I'm certainly not going to try it because I have not got 1500 shells just to put through one shotgun. Let me tell you. Um, so normal specs then. So let's have a look. So 12 gauge. 9 plus 1 this is, so 9 round magazine, tubular magazine plus 1 in the chamber. Yes, I'm keeping my fingers away from that bit. Um, shell size up to 3 inch. Yeah, I think I put a 3 inch out of my mixed bag. I put a 3 inch through this when I was running a mixed bag of uh, shells. Yeah, it caught me off guard a little bit and it did hurt my shoulder a little bit. It was just a painful video that range time. Um, video was and reviewing this it's just this jm pro is just gonna make me cringe with pain whenever i see him um the site on this is a high vis site which is excellent absolutely excellent i'll dive more into that i'll tell you more about that in a minute overall length is 44.75 inches let's confirm that because i am on an american website uh, um, yeah, yeah, that's about right. It's got an extended choke in, so extended choke uh, rolling in at 46 inches or 1170 millimeters. Um, oh, where's my specs gone? Oh, my tablet's just gone off. Um, finish is in a tungsten grey. Uh, anodized finish okay which is really nice matte blue barrel uh, i've not got oh, we have got weight um seven and three quarter pounds it's weighing in at not going to give you the price because prices vary wherever you go and they're soon out of date as well so i'm not going to give you a price that is pretty much your specs for the jm pro Let's take it from the top in the usual rack and load style and uh, let's tell you more about this. In fact, should we, let's just, let's just throw on, let's just throw on something nice for added table decoration. 
Mossberg 500 classic pump, super pimped. This one is rack and load member of the team. This bad boy is in Magpul, looking very sexy, and a burnt bronze and armor black Cerakote job, looking super super sexy. Just put that there because it is a Mossberg. Let's. It's a classic, it's a classic. Right, the JM Pro. So, taking it from the recoil pad. The recoil pad, I've got to say, is excellent. Nice, soft rubber, ventilated, got Mossberg's emblem on there, really like it. You do get um, spaces to uh, just length of pull. They are supplied in the box, which is nice. There's a whole, this is a demo gun, uh, thanks to Viking Arms, by the way, for the demo gun. Um, I've noticed that the sling swivel stud is not there, whether that's standard or not, whether it comes with it or not, or whether they've taken that out or it's fallen out, don't know. Ambidextrous stock, you know, this is a practical um, style, competition style uh, shotgun. Synthetic, as you can see. Mossberg's logo on the pistol grip and you've got, oh, let's just swing this round, like a checkery finish on the pistol grip. Two sort of panels there. Kind of nice, kind of nice. And then we've got the receiver. Let's give it the magnet test. Aluminium receiver. And then Anodized, not adenized, anodized. That's another video where I got that wrong. Anodized finish in this tungsten gray. And all the controls on this are big, as you can see, and yellow, which is really cool. Rack and load yellow, don't you know? <laughs> so taking it from the receiver then. So pretty well not really much to talk about on the receiver uh, you've got Mossberg's logo on the other side there okay and then 940 JM Pro I think that's sort of laser etched on there looking pretty cool god it's getting heavy Tang safety catch which I am a big fan of especially in with competition shotguns i don't know it's just it's just easy dead easy some people like cross bolts i don't know i prefer the tank i on the um 500 i added that one so just thought i'd show you that then you have got along the top of the receiver uh, it is drilled and tapped for a rail if you so wish. The JM Pro doesn't come with one, so this is pretty much bog standard out of the box. Bolt handle is massive, absolutely massive. Love that, that is exactly what you need in a competition shotgun, as is the bolt release. I love, and I've got to say it, I love the finish on the big controls and the pattern as well, especially the pattern on the bolt release it matches up with the takedown nut there. Really nice, although it does get a little bit grubby, but I kind of like that. It's a bit Boba Fair, it's, it's pretty cool, pretty cool. Just gives it a bit of a worn finish, which I kind of like that. Really nice, really nice. Oh, that bolt just scares me. Oh, it still hurts. It really does still hurt. Um, fast bolt, really fast bolt. <clears throat> Jerry McCulley, whatever his name is. He, you know, he's one of the fastest shooters in the world, isn't he? You know, he can, he can shoot shotguns like the full auto. So this thing has been, obviously, he's had a say in it. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice. You know, and this <clears throat> this is a fast shooting shotgun. I can't shoot it that fast, especially after I trapped my trigger finger. I really, really couldn't shoot it that fast. But 
it shot really well it did now you've seen the range time video the first sort of few minutes of that is me having problems with this thing i fired one shot and then it just stopped feeding and that's when i was trying to clear it and whatever i trapped my finger <clears throat> what had happened was well i don't actually know what had happened well i do but i don't know what caused it the follower and the spring must have got caught up halfway down for whatever reason don't know what just got caught up it was fine when i first loaded it up loaded it up with a full mag uh first shot and then it was like the magazine uh, the follower got stuck down the tube and they were the the shells were just sliding up and down freely and obviously they weren't feeding because there was no spring tension to continue pushing um, each shell after every shot. So that caused me a few issues and I, I was like, what am I going to do here? And I was just, it just, I thought that was the end of the video to be fair. I thought I've got a problem here, the spring snapped or something. So I was about to strip it down and as I loosened the takedown nut, the follower just shot back down. It was like it got caught up in there, shot back down and that was it. And it ran absolutely flawlessly from that point on. I was, like I say, I was just about to quit doing the video, but for other, just thought, no, I'll give it a strip down, see what we can do. Literally turn that follower shot back up, shot back down even. And all was good. And that was it. I started pumping shells through this thing and it just chewed through all your normal sort of decent loads. No problem around buckshot. I didn't throw any slug shot through it. Around buckshot, high base cartridges. Oh God, I think I even threw in a black powder cartridge in my mix and match stuff. And it just chewed through the lot really, really well. And it did shoot. It really did shoot well. That recoil pad was needed, like I say, with that uh, Magnum load that I'd snuck in there. I didn't even know I'd loaded that thing in, but hey ho. And like I say, it just absolutely chewed through that ammo. It really, really did. Then I gave it the ultimate test of some, uh, what were they, 24 gram? Uh, that's always my big test for semi-auto shotguns. Not found one yet that'll run 24 grams. I've, I've had shotguns where they'll claim to do it, but then I put some 24 gram real light loads in and it just they just don't. They just choke up. They don't even eject them. So And this didn't, but you're, you're not going to use those rounds anyway in competition, are you? You need something heavy to hit the steel, to knock steel plates over, etc. Okay. So, normal decent loads ran perfectly, absolutely perfectly. Loading it is really nice, really nice. Now they say this thing is tricked out, ready for competition. It has been pretty much, well it is, it is pretty much tricked out. The magwell is slightly, slightly machined out, as you can see. So it's sort of chamfered off there. Would people really give it a proper um, magwell job or loading port job? Yeah, possibly. To just make it flow even more, make it even smoother. Possibly. Possibly. Would you be able to, though, because you've got stuff going on right there right there so you're not going to be able to take too much meat out of there but i do like it i like the um just a single plate there which is just nice and smooth you do catch and i'm i am going to say it i'll load in this dummy this dummy when you when you load in a cartridge i mean it depends how you load if you're quad loading double loading or whatever depends how you are i found that well i mean if you if you're not sort of real real good at doing that you might occasionally ca catch your thumb sort of benelli thumb is what it's called let's just eject that i'm closing that up i'm not getting my fingers anywhere near it 
I just found that you, occasionally you could sort of get Benelli thumb, occasionally, but um, that is what it is. If you use this regular, you, you're just going to flow. You're just going to flow, and it is super smooth. It really is slick. That I mean, this is a demo gun, so I don't know how many rounds it's had through it, but that is nice. It's just nice. There's no, you ain't going to force that um, that lever down. It's just nice. It's just, it is just nice. There's no doubt about it. Get rid of that. Close that. So no complaints there. Some people might moan that they want, you know, they want that port, you know, machining out or drilling out a little bit more. Myself, I wouldn't. I'd leave it as it is. Mentioned all the big controls. Well, there's only two really. Well, three. All right, then four if you include the trigger. Big safety catch. Like I said, tank safety catch. Really nice. Plenty of grip on it. Love, love that. You could probably upgrade that to a real big one, like that one. Don't ask me what make that is or where I got it from. I can't even remember. It's been on this gun forever. In fact, I think a friend sent me that when I uh, mentioned I was going to be pimping the 500. So yeah, safety catch, tank safety catch, love them. Big bolt handle, love them. Big bolt release, love them. Really, really good. Trigger is, obviously we are clear. Trigger is nice. Oh, I've got a safety on. Shall I measure the trigger? You competition guys might like that. I mean, I don't usually measure triggers on shotguns, do I? I don't think I do. It's been a while since I've had a shotgun. Let's measure the trigger just for you trigger snobs. Is it adjustable? Uh, don't think so. But they do say all the guts of this um, this gun have been, uh, I forget forget the terminology now. I think they've been coated so they're super smooth. Um, so, and it is, it is super smooth, it is super slick. Let's give the trigger a pull. I mean, it's competition shocking anyway, but you know, it is what it is. Ooh. Oh, nearly five pounds. Nearly five pounds the trigger is, if you're interested. I mean, like I said, I don't really measure triggers for sh on shotguns, but here's what it is. Yellow trigger there, as you can see. Nice. I do like it. I do like the colorations. Really, really nice. Moving along then to the fore end. The forend is nice. Plenty of grip on it, like a checkering finish there, as you can see, pan two panels either side. Probably my favorite forend on a shotgun is probably the Beretta 1301 Comp Pro. I did like that, I did like that forend. It was almost rubberized, it was really grippy. Mossberg's logo on the bottom there, and then there's your takedown knot magazine tube and then let's show you the barrel okay you've got a ventilated rib there which is really nice extended um chokes so you can swap them in and out whenever you need to without any tools which is really nice i in fact ran this without any chokes in yeah, I don't know why I did that. I just I think I just forgot I had the chokes, but hey ho, it is what it is. Um the front sight, the high vis sight is absolutely excellent. One of the best I've seen on a shotgun. And this is quite interesting because it's not just a lot of shotguns or a lot of high vis sights, um fiber optic sights are just like a, a sort of single strip, or should I say one size, whereas this, show you close up, if my camera will focus, is got like a fat end to it, if that makes sense. Trying to get it on camera. So it's like a triangular shape there. 
Re that just sucks in the light. It really does suck in the light. Excellent. Really, really good. Cannot complain about the front sight. That is one of my favorite things on this gun. I know, random or what, but it really is. It really is a good sight. Uh, there's no bead or anything sort of further back. Is a like a rear uh, sighting aid, so to speak. I just noticed these screws are a little loose. Not surprised. My shoulder's a little loose after this review, let me tell you. But, um, but yeah, absolutely love the front sight. The front high vis sight, really, really good, really good. So I'm just moving some stuff out of the way. Um, let's give it a strip down. Should we give it a strip down? Yeah, let's give it a strip down. Okay. Just show you the guts of this thing, can't I? And this is where springs and stuff go everywhere, and it all it all goes wrong here in the rat cave. So wait for it. Oh, yep, yeah, that shot out. That's gone across the room somewhere. Thank God for the power of editing. Okay, there's a follower. Okay, let's take the fore end off. All right, the whole lot will come as it is then. There's, oh, maybe not. Oh man, this is dirty. So, come apart, come apart. See, this is why I don't, I tend not to do this on, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna leave, leave that as it is. There is your internals of the Mossberg JM Pro. This thing. Oh no, actually, it's pretty clean, to be fair. Well, no, I think it does need a clean. But that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? I like, I like the way they've uh, even colorized the internals. It does look cool, really does look cool. And obviously it functions well. Little bit, oh, let's, let's take this off. If it'll come off, it is dirty, to be fair. It is mega dirty. Oh, it, it's a bit jammed up. Do you know what? I'm gonna leave it on. I'm gonna leave it on because it's. I don't wanna. I don't wanna lose bits. I've already lost the spring. Where did the spring go? Let me just. Let me just rescue the spring, guys. It's gone sort of across, across the room. There's your spring. There we go. There's your spring. <laughs> My God. It always goes wrong in the rat cave. I'm surprised I didn't like take my eye out with that spring or anything. So yeah, that is your guts, okay? That is your guts right there. Obviously, you're gonna have, there's gonna be two holes in the barrel there that pushes the piston to eject. Gas operated, not inertia. So gas operated ones always run a little bit more dirty because you've got gas and crap going back to operate the action whereas an inertia everything is relying on that bump in your shoulder and everything just goes out of the barrel so you'll always get a dirty gun with a gas operated gun rather than an inertia operated gun if you didn't already know that so i'm going to by the power of editing put this back together really quickly Back in the room. No, that didn't just take me half an hour. No, it didn't actually. It took me about a minute. Yeah, anyway. So yeah, that's your strip down. Like I say, you according to Mossberg, 1500 rounds or so, and then it's due a clean. Do you know what? For what, if you, I was a competition shooter, which I'm not, by the way, but if I was a serious, serious competition shooter, would you just let it get, get dirty? You wouldn't, would you? You you clean it after every competition. Of course you would. But but no, but that's a good selling point, I guess. Um, it looks like to me it's due a clean anyway. But this is a demo gun, so it gets kind of abused. Um, 
the box, I've not got the box, but it does come in a cardboard box, which is nice instead of one of those crappy plastic boxes that just get thrown in the loft or your attic, never to be seen again. It just comes with a nice cardboard box. Uh, you get chokes, obviously, um, choke that is in. Uh, I've just put one in for, for this video. I uh, don't know what's in at the minute, but you've, these are your chokes. We've got medium and cylinder. There's the chokes. So that is nice. I'll take that one out. Actually, I'll take this out and I'll just show you. Um, show you the muzzle. Urgh. Probably just need a bit of a clean. Uh, this gun does, to be fair. Um, but no, I'm really impressed, really impressed. I thought, I was, to be fair, I was really starting to sort of lose faith uh, at the start of that range time video. Um, but then it just cured itself. So it is what it is, it's, you know, and it just ran, it ran really well. I wish I'd had some slug to put through it and see what it was like. At, it was like a half sort of decent range, but, um, but yeah, re really, really fun shotgun uh, to test apart from I was in pain so it kind of marred it a little bit the manual uh, all your sort of safety stuff do's and don'ts you know it's got all you guys in America it's got all your different uh, state laws that you've got to look out for uh, oh god complicated um how to operate it, all your controls. It's a nice manual actually. Um, not too not too shabby at all. Plenty of detail. It exploded diagrams, which I'm a big fan of, and they are pretty good diagrams to be fair. So yeah, everything you'd sort of really need to know how to take the bolt out. I mean, I'm not gonna do that on camera, it's just it just takes too long. Um I have to take the trigger assembly out, it's easy enough, it's just two pins. So yeah, oh and we've got exploded diagrams at the back as well, a proper sort of full on exploded diagram at the back, which is cool. So yeah, the manual is pretty good. Like I say, you get three chokes, uh, it comes in a cardboard box, you get all like the security cable as well. So really, really good. I like it. I'm gonna say I do like it. I know some people are a bit up and down about the previous models of these. Uh, I know they had issues. I'm not gonna go into that, but um, I can't you see. I don't like to comment on other people's issues because I didn't use. This is the first Mossberg semi-auto shotgun that I've used, and to be fair, my you know giving my data. My testing, apart from that hiccup with the mag spring, other than that, ran it ran really well, really well. If there was a zombie apocalypse, would I choose a semi-auto? No, absolutely not. It'd be pump all day long for me. But it is what it is. But no, the 940 JM Pro, um, I am pretty impressed with it. The, just thought I'd mention, the trigger unit and trigger guard is metal, by the way. Okay, wedding ring test. Just thought I'd mention that. Some people get a bit funny if it's got a plastic trigger guard. But no, a real good competition shotgun. Really good. Say so I put, uh, what did I put through? A couple of hundred rounds, of different flavor ammo. Um, and it, it it ran, like I say, it ran flawlessly, uh, apart from uh, the the real low power uh, 24 gram cartridges. You know, you've got to give it a half decent load for its cycle. It is gas after all. And the, well, the same goes for inertia. You know, uh, you've got to give it a bit of a bit of welly to operate the action, don't you? Pump action, you put any, whatever you like through it. You know, as long as that firing pin is hitting the primer, it'll it'll work. 
because it's you that's cycling it at the end of the day. But no, I am impressed with the Mossberg 940 JM Pro. Testing complete here in the Rat Cave. I'm impressed. It's it's a winner for me, definitely. Would I have one? Uh, no, oh, I've not. I've got enough shotguns at the minute. I really have. I really have. But yeah, if you're out for a um, new shotgun, competition ready shotgun, this comes highly recommended. Um, you know, Mossberg, they are pretty good, aren't they? They are pretty bomb proof. Pretty bomb proof. And I do like this thing. Yeah, to be fair, all this, you know, people putting the names on stuff or their initials on stuff doesn't really Im impress me that much, you know, just because it's got someone's uh, name to it. Don't impress me. I'll just go off the data of my own testing. If this had done really bad on the day, then i'd be giving you that information wouldn't i and i've told you how it is i did in the rain you actually seen it as it happened in the range time video you know where this thing i think for the first sort of five minutes i'm just trying to get this thing working so i like to just be real keep it real and not fob you off with any bs it is how it is here at rack and load anyway that is your review of the Mossberg 940 JM Pro. Thanks for watching. That's Rack and Load. See ya.